家做咩啊？誒、uh, 芝士肉子燒，呢、這個係蛋啊。蛋嘅。跟住我哋就會落粟米同埋芝士。跟住首先要落油先啦，呢、這個係。哇！好多油啊！係<笑>啊，但係其實整完出嚟你食係冇乜嘢，因為係或者要卷嘅。係。Amber Foods is a little hole-in-the-wall restaurant that opened on an infamous day in the history of Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement, the anniversary of the first big police crackdown. Really good. It's very creamy, like um, kind of sweet. And what got hot? Oh, okay, it's very light and airy, and the cheese adds a nice bit of umami. Everyone who works here is a protester, including Mandy. She's a chef in training and didn't even know how to cook before she started here. I In Hong Kong, yellow is the chosen color of the pro-democracy movement. Last year, protesters hoisted yellow umbrellas and donned yellow hard hats to protect themselves against pepper spray and tear gas shells. Yellow has now become shorthand for whether an individual or establishment supports the protests. Blue stands for the other side. The police who cracked down, and of course China, which passed a national security law this year that basically criminalized dissent. Between COVID-19 and the sweeping new law, street protests have become scarce. The drink name in English is Stand With Hong Kong, but Gaiyao literally means add oil, but in Cantonese it's sort of this cheer that is very commonly heard and throughout the protests it's become a rallying cry. By having a drink called that, they're giving people the excuse to actually say it multiple times a day. Amber Foods isn't the only protest restaurant. It's part of the so-called yellow economic circle a network of businesses that consider every bite and every dollar spent an opportunity to resist. Growing the yellow economy is all about linking up yellow customers with yellow shops. That's where Matt Lau steps in. The picky.hk app lets customers order from yellow restaurants in other districts of the city. Lau delivers for free. Step one, you can go to our website, and then you can click on the iWai Mai, and then you can pick your own food. 咁你就上面揀埋個自取店啦，個自取店就係、是。咁你啲客佢哋大部分係咩人嚟 s u r p r i s i n g l y 係全部都係會四十至五十歲左右嘅。Lau's business is his form of protest, and he's betting that other Hong Kongers will help it grow. But for now, his service is helping yellow restaurants more than his own bottom line. 但係其實冇表態。你見唔見係冇色咧？我覺得如果冇表態嘅話，其實都係偏向藍色嗰邊。點解咧？就因為你想企喺中間位，就因為你想食曬兩邊嘅一個生意，跌緊錢我都願意去做，我願意去幫手。我相信好多人會睇到我之後就哇，你都傻嘅，係因為我我願意，我好。我覺得反而係因為我醒，我醒，所以我先想幫咗更多人。Hello。Chinese government would prefer businesses care about profits. The city's in a historic recession, and China's accused yellow businesses of trying to, quote, kidnap its economy. But Hong Kong relies on China for its food. 90% of Hong Kong's food is imported, and most of that comes from the mainland. Less than 5% of the territory is devoted to farming. One of the few farms is run by Wang Yuwing. You <laughs> 我係整揾手拔落去得噶啦，咁咁你見到大條長嘅，整拔落去就得啦。嗯，係啊 ，OK， 夠食一餐啦。嗯。Demand for Wang's organic produce has gone through the roof since the protests and a pandemic that's raised the price of food from China. 點解啲年青人如果佢哋想支持香港，會
支持呢個農場咯。誒，因為最主要香港市民其實喺心裏面，佢會將香港同埋中國大陸兩個地方將佢誒視作為兩個個體。如果你食水或者你嘅糧食係被控制嘅，咁你可以捱得幾多日 ？Tourists from the city even come help out on Saturdays when the other workers get a day off. Pretty clever having your paying customers do your weeding for you, I must say. 嗯，水滾啦，咁、嗯、我去錄埋啲菜啦，真完美。咁平時我喺田呢度錄菜食咧，都係就咁摘出嚟就咁試。咁鹽嗰啲其實我都冇落，咁樣油嗰啲都冇落，兩三分鐘就 OK 嘅啦。嗯。Though his small organic farm may seem removed from the city and its problems, to him it's all connected. 咁你咁覺得而家嘅香港係咪好嘅環境啊？而家就好似一個農場咁，而家好混亂，好多雜草，好多蟲患。誒、呃，你要去打理翻佢，你要花好多力氣落去，慢慢將佢誒整理翻，你就要將佢做翻好，你先有繼續可以做到生產，你先可以繼續有翻永續嘅農業喺後邊。